Hey everybody, it's Tom here. Just gonna do a little quickie, a little down and dirty. Um, originally I wasn't gonna film it, but you know, <clears throat> there are probably some beginners that are watching the channel. And um, you know, we're all beginners at some point in time. We weren't born with the skills and the knowledge of metal working and machining and welding. So this is just gonna be a quick, easy one. Um, if you wanna watch, great. If you don't, you know, hey, understand. But um, got one of those, um, hey, can you help me out kind of quick fixes here. This came in the shop. Uh, basically, this guy's got handlebar on a, I'm assuming like an exercise bike or something. But it um, doesn't raise up far enough for him. So the plan is going to be to, uh, I think we're going to slice it right there. Separate it. Got a piece of stock. Um, we're gonna get a six inch section and then we'll just uh, weld it in, grind the welds down, make it look pretty and send it out the door. So like I said, just a quick fix. Um, not sure if I want to MIG it or TIG it yet. Haven't decided. TIG would put probably less heat in it. Um, but it is some thin material so I have to get my settings right. Maybe have to play around a little bit with the uh, with the TIG machine before um, I do it just to make sure I don't burn a bunch of holes through it. So um, like I said, just quick and easy, let's um, get this stuff cut. Well unfortunately, the way the handlebar is all discombobulated, there's no way I can get it in uh, either bandsaw. So we're going to have to do this manually and you know, work on our biceps and our forearms here. Just cut her straight down if we can so that's what I'm gonna be doing alrighty got her uh, cut in two got her fairly straight down so let me just dress up the edges <laughs> by the way it is like uh, the end of February it is 76 degrees out in the Sun <laughs> God the mighty so yeah, I got all the uh, the doors open in the shop, just enjoying the the weird weather. Cause probably in two weeks we'll have a cold snap and kill everything that's starting to bud. You know, go figure. But that's the way the crazy weather is around here. So let's uh, dress these edges up. I'll get uh, this over to the uh, bandsaw and we'll cut us a six-inch section out. All right, I got you over here at the do all. We'll just buzz this. Uh, end piece off and get us a six inch section I would use my uh, horizontal bandsaw but the problem is I got a really coarse blade on it which wouldn't be good for this thin wall stuff so this blade is good I think this is about a 10 to 14 toother so one done let me go uh, mark the other one and we'll have a six incher all right I hope you can see this pretty well <clears throat> um, I'm gonna give it a shot and try to TIG weld it and, um, I uh, just been practicing a little bit on a piece so I think I got the amperage dialed in 
Uh, fill a rod is 332 diameter. It'd probably be a little more ideal if I had 1 16th, but I don't have it in steel. Uh, welder set it uh, about 46 amps. Um, I learned on a TIG torch with a switch. Um, never really cared for the for the pedal. It's just one more thing you got to deal with, especially if you're um, doing automotive work and you're building cages or uh, other things. You, you, just, you just can't use a pedal in some of the positions. So I always used a, uh, a switch on the on the end of the torch. Um, and for those guys that are just beginning, um, running a two percent lanthanated tungsten electrode. So um, let's uh, try to lay a little bit of bead here. Got her all clamped down. I had to shim the bottom here and there just to get this lined up. This is a tad bit different diameter than this. This is obviously overseas stuff, so this is probably millimeter versus uh, this piece here that's standard size. Uh, Alrighty, not bad. Let me get her cooled down a little bit and uh, start working around it. Alright, just got wrapped up. She's still kind of warm, but uh, hopefully you can see she came out pretty good. So, we'll just uh, let her cool down, grind it down, and then um, it'll be a, a rinse and repeat with uh, you know, putting this one on. Time to clean it up. Flap disc. Let's uh, get the handlebar welded on. Well, sometimes you gotta get creative with your setups. I'll show you what I had to do here to get everything in squareness and uh, right with the world. So I had to shim this a little bit here, be able to hold her down. And this piece is keeping everybody straight, but yet, you know, I got a spacer in the bottom and spacer here. So uh, I can get this thing tacked up. And I double check to make sure this notch goes away from the handlebar. So don't want to uh, do a bozo and have it the wrong way when I weld it up. That ain't going to work. So let me get this thing tigged up. Alrighty. All done. The handle is on. So now I just got to uh, grind these welds down. And just in time... You can see that. Oh, <laughs> it is uh, time for some argon. What do you think? <laughs> Alrighty, just a little quick fix so it'll uh, down and dirty. This guy's all set, ready to go. 
So six inches extended. So now he can ride his exercise bike, I guess. Tall. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. And um, like I said, it was just a simple project. So I hope it didn't bore you. But, you know, sometimes uh, the simple ones are the good ones. So anyways, we'll see you.